Hi everybody, um, I'm just going to give a little demonstration here about how easy it is to give a si a feedback to assignments submitted electronically in Moodle without printing them out to paper. Okay. First of all, this would be a typical Moodle page. You might have an area like here where they have to submit an assignment. You can have lots of these in your Moodle course. So we click on here. When we go in here, we can check to see how many people have submitted assignments. Up here in the top right, only one person has done it so far. So we click on here to have a look at the assignments that have been submitted. Over here on the right, you would normally have the word grade under status to show that you haven't graded it yet. Now I've been messing around with this before, so I have graded it, but it also allows me to update it. I can see, by the way, that this lady has submitted this document here called Autumn 2007 Practical Dot Doc. Okay, so we click on Update or Grade and this new window opens up. Down here you can see the file that she has submitted. In this window you can see that you can give a grade up in this location here and you can give some feedback in, in this box here. We'll worry about that later on. First of all we want to have a look at her document. So we click on the document which is a Word doc. We can see that from .doc when we do that, it should download and open in Microsoft Word. Don't worry about the actual document, it's a bit of rubbish I put in. If you wanted to write a comment on this, you could write, pick some point in the document, maybe set the text to nice bright red, uh, and then you might write um, some comment. There is actually a proper system for inserting comments in Microsoft Word if you want. You get that from the, we just click on someplace else, say, uh, let me look at this, how to access Moodle for the course, how to access Moodle, I'll just highlight that, say insert, I want to insert a comment on that particular phrase, and over here I'll say, please give even an easier way to put in comments. If you have a tablet, you can bring up a, uh, a, mar a link annotations menu like this, and then you can click on this, and just get your pen on your tablet, and you can scribble on things, you can circle things. Uh, and writing isn't so good here. This is your version of it. This hasn't gone back to them yet. You've just been editing the version that they submitted to you. So what we would need to do now at this point is file, save this as a document on our own computer. I'll just stick it on my desktop for the moment. And we change the name of the document so it's not to confuse it for the, with the other one. And put the word, maybe, feedback here. saving it on my desktop. Now you possibly have a better place to save these full, specifically for this class group, for maybe for this assignment. So that's saved there. We can get exit out of Word. Okay. And back in here we have the, uh, the opportunity to uh, send them a response file, which is really our version of the... Uh, sorry. Let me just check browse now I'll need to look on my desktop and if there was a word document I'm just listing all the word documents and it had feedback at the end it was actually this one here okay it doesn't matter which one but we must we have to get it right of course anyway but for the purpose of showing you I just have to select that and then upload this now that's been sent up to the server and associated with their assignment there it is. There, there's the one they submitted. Autumn 2007 Practical Doc. I've called this Autumn 2007 Feedback Doc. Having read it, I might give them a grade of, let's say, 71%, and say, please.
please read comments in. Okay, so we might put much comments there. We could if we wanted to, but because we put comments in the document, we might need to. Okay, and then we just need to save these changes. And if you want to send them an email to let them know that, if you wanted to send them an automatic email, just click that there. We won't bother. Save changes. And that's the feedback back to them. It's that easy. And I'll be showing how, how to create an assignment that can do this in a separate video. Thank you. Bye.